Poland stretches along the southern coast of the Baltic Sea. It is the sixth largest market in Europe and the largest one in the continent's east central part. It is also one of the most rapidly developing European economies and one of the most attractive markets in Europe in terms of investments. In the north of Poland, at the crossing of the main logistic routes running from the north to the south and from the east to the west of the continent, there lies the largest Polish port, the port of Gdansk. It is the only port in the Baltic Sea able to handle the largest ships entering the basin. The port of Gdansk not only has a perfect location, but also has an extensive market impact base, covering an area of a total of about 100 million consumers, including countries such as the Czech Republic, Slovakia, the western part of Ukraine and Belarus. The port of Gdansk is one of the ports with the best transport connections in Poland, both from water and land. It has modern terminal infrastructure providing regular shipping connections not just with most countries of the northern coast of Europe but also with Asia, America, the Middle East and Africa. Thanks to road investments carried out, the transport of cargo from any quay to the toll gates of the A1 motorway which is the main transport access between the north and south of Poland, only takes half an hour and completely bypasses the city centre. The thoroughly modernised main railway route with the modern railway bridge, able to handle 180 pairs of trains a day, provides efficient and quick transport of cargo. The port of Gdansk is one of the most versatile Polish ports, Goods such as cereals, aggregates, sugar, citrus fruit, project cargo, containerized cargo and energy cargo are transshipped here. The range handled at the keys of the port of Gdansk includes a total of 70 different types of goods. Modern transship and terminals, efficient access infrastructure and an extensive network of shipping connections are the reason that Gdansk keeps enhancing its position in the Baltic Sea every year. According to the ranking of the largest Baltic port, Gdansk comes sixth in terms of transshipments in general and second in terms of container turnover. It has a nearly 80% share in liquid fuel handling in Poland and over 60% in sea container handling. Because of a high degree of interest among logistics and transshipment leaders, it is already certain that further expansion of the port is necessary. Forecasts indicate that by 2030, Gdansk transshipment volume will have tripled to the level of about 100 million tonnes. In order to meet the growing market demand, the so-called central port will be established within the port of Gdansk. It will be the largest investment here since the 1970s. More universal deep water terminals will be constructed thanks to which the port will increase its capability to handle the largest vessels sailing the Baltic Sea. The central port will deal with more than just transshipments. It will serve tourists and offer a terminal enabling border clearance and reception of ships even larger than at the moment. Currently, road and railway infrastructure is undergoing modernization. After it becomes part of the central port, it will enhance the distribution potential for the whole of East Central Europe. Later, partners and operators will be able to construct keys modularly. Soon, thorough modernization of the inner port will begin. The keys will be redeveloped and fairways deepened. The port also intends to enlarge all the turning areas. The completely new parameters of the keys will help improve both the safety and conditions of navigation and, above all, the port's transshipment capabilities. Today, ships of major market players including Maersklein, the Mediterranean Shipping Company, OOCL, Costco Shipping, CMACGM and Evergreen Shipping call at Gdansk's port. They provide regular shipping links with countries such as China, Malaysia, South Korea and Singapore, 
Containers coming to Gdansk from these directions are distributed to Estonia, Latvia, Finland, Russia and Sweden, among others as part of feeder services. What attracts the ever-increasing number of clients to the port of Gdansk is also the largest container terminal in the Baltic Sea, the DCT Gdansk. It is able to handle 3 million 20-foot containers a year. It is the largest terminal not only in terms of its throughput capacity, but also the transshipments handled here. Australian investor, the Goodman Company, created the largest logistics project in Poland within the port premises, the Pomeranian Logistics Centre. It is a hub for the FMCG type of products, including mainly food products which require efficient deliveries. The broad offer and quick border and customs clearance, as well as good transit time for freight transport, make the port an important logistics hub also for the automotive sector, including makes such as Hyundai and Nissan. The latter decided to completely change the logistics path of car distribution within East Central Europe. Now, cars manufactured in Japan, Spain and the United Kingdom are distributed via the Port of Gdansk across Poland, the Czech Republic, Slovakia, Hungary, Lithuania, Latvia and Ukraine. Hyundai cars from the Czech Republic are transported via roads and railways to Gdansk and later to the UK by sea. In order to respond to passenger car manufacturers' growing interest in the Port of Gdansk, Soon, a new terminal for rolling cargo will be created in the deep water part of the port. It will be able to handle two commercial vessels at a time. The terminal will be equipped with an extensive storage and warehouse base connected with the main road and railway network. The Port of Gdansk is also a distribution hub for energy cargoes such as oil and coal. Terminal infrastructure makes it possible to handle 55 million tons of this type of cargo. Each year, energy cargo constitutes nearly 50% of all the goods handled at the Port of Gdansk. Within the last decade, a total of 148 million tons of raw materials and energy products were transshipped in Gdansk. Some of them reach Polish and German refineries via pipeline network. Some are transported to other refining plants or in transit to various parts of Europe by sea. The huge development potential of the port was acknowledged by numerous investors, including Sea Invest, a leading transshipment operator in the countries of Western Europe and Africa. In the deep water part of the port, Sea Invest built a modern dry bulk cargo terminal able to handle cape-sized ships with drafts of 15 meters. The Port of Gdansk also established a business relationship with an Australian leader in banking, financial, advisory and investment service management, the Macquarie Group. And yet another company using the possibilities offered by Gdansk Port is Pern which deals with oil logistics. Apart from the largest liquid fuel handling terminal in Poland, which has been thriving here for years now, and in which Pern has a majority interest, the investor decided to build another oil terminal. It is an investment enhancing the competitiveness of the Polish economy and the country's energy security. It also provides opportunities for the diversification of the sources of electrical energy, gas and liquid fuels. The terminal includes six crude oil tanks and will soon be expanded further. Such high pace of terminal infrastructure expansion is the reason for investors' increasing interest in the port's areas with development potential. New lessees may still find attractive locations here, situated in the deep water parts of the port, among others. They may be used for the construction of storage space, as well as processing and manufacturing activity. It is also a great location for a duty-free area, which would ensure certain customs and tax benefits to entrepreneurs. The Port of Gdansk is on the threshold of the greatest changes in its history. Currently, most investments managed by the Port of Gdansk Authority are financed from the EU's resources within the scope of the Connecting Europe facility. The European Union allocated funds in the amount of 24 billion euros for this purpose. The funds will be used in the years 2014 to 2020. The Port of Gdansk will receive about 500 million Polish Wati from this port. Adding the resources that the port will allot for investments from its own reserves, the cost of the works will reach 1 billion Polish Wati. 
This is the Port of Gdansk, your business partner.